What's up everybody, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how to increase your conversion rate on your Shopify store in 2021. So overall, you want to increase your conversion rate because this is going to increase the profitability and the revenue of your Shopify store. As the more customers you can convert, the greater the sales are going to be as you're going to need less traffic to increase your overall sales and profitability. In terms of where to focus to improve your conversion rate, we're going to go over three things in this video. It's going to be the content of your website, improving the speed of your website, and optimizing the experience for the customers. Overall, I'm going to go step by step into each of those and explain what you need to do and how you can actually improve that section of your website to increase the overall conversion rate. If you're not sure what your conversion rate now is for your website, all you got to do is go to your analytics section and it's going to show you the online store conversion rate based on the time period selected above. What you also want to do as well is sign into Google Analytics account and get a detailed funnel of your conversion rate. So the key thing to focus on is not the overall conversion rate per se, but the individual steps of the conversion funnel. It's going to give you a really good idea of where customers are finding difficulties, where they're dropping off, and then from there you can improve on each step. Before we dive into the rest of this, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. One thing to note before we dive into these tips here is that your conversion rate isn't gonna matter if you don't have a lot of traffic. Your conversion rate isn't gonna matter too much as it's really gonna depend on the traffic you're sending to your website. If you're getting a lot of links or a lot of clicks from different spam or different countries that have no relevance in terms of buying your product, those conversion rates aren't gonna matter because those customers are going to decrease your conversion rate overall. So at the beginning, I wouldn't obsess over this unless you have a steady stream of orders and you have a steady stream of customers coming to your website. You don't wanna focus on this too much. You rather wanna focus on getting quality traffic to your website, really matching your products to the traffic source you are attempting to use. The first tip to increase your conversion rate is to first improve the content on your website. So if you look at my basic Shopify store here, there's almost nothing there. One thing you want to focus on is improving the images on your website. You want to have high quality images showing the product itself, the different colors, and how customers are using that product. You then want to focus on your description, writing a optimized description that really displays the information that you want to convey to the customer, showing the benefits, not just the feature, and how that product's gonna integrate in the customer's life. The third tip following that is you want to include reviews on your products. You wanna generate high quality reviews from customers using a Shopify app such as Luke's. It's gonna generate those reviews and really add credibility to your store and to your products, incentivizing the customer to purchase and they're gonna trust you more, which is then gonna overall increase your conversion rate. Right here, I've pulled up an example of an amazing product page. This is a headphone product, MH40 Wireless. And as you go through, you can really see they have tons of high quality images showing what this product looks like, showing what it's like on people's bodies, so you can get a good idea of how it fits and how it looks while people are actually wearing it. As you scroll down further, you get a really good description describing the features and the benefits that the product has for the customer, really showing why the customer should purchase this product. Here they also have reviews from different magazines and different respected media. Overall as well, I would have liked to see user reviews, but they do make up for that with these reviews from reputable sources here, such as digital trends. The second tip to optimize your conversion rates is to improve the speed of your Shopify store. So this is going to be going through speed test software such as Pingdom or GT Metrics, getting an idea of where your site is being slowed down by certain apps, by certain images. And from there, you want to optimize those sections of your website accordingly. If I scroll to GT Metrics, I put my Shopify store in. And from there, you want to scroll to the waterfall section. And that's going to give you an idea of where things are slowed down on your website. You can go through and see which files are large. Maybe there's apps with extra JavaScript code that you've deleted. You want to remove that code and you also want to optimize your images here. If I scroll down here, I can see an error directly and it's the favicon. I have no favicon uploaded to the Shopify site. So that's something I might want to do to increase my loading time slightly. You might want to consult with the developer, but mostly overall you can look through and really attach to what sections are being loaded and maybe things you don't want to include on the product page that might be slowing down the overall experience. I know something that really slowed down my store, which I didn't realize was a scarcity app, which created artificial scarcity for my Shopify store 
store, and that increased my loading times to above 4 to 5 seconds. And overall, that really slowed down the experience for the customer. Your optimal loading time should be under 3 seconds, and it should be even faster than that, especially with Facebook and Google really cracking down on how fast the stores are loading inside their mobile apps. After you go through your website, you can see which sections need to be optimized. From there, I would always recommend optimizing your images. If you only have a few images, you can use a site like TinyPNG, which allows you to manually upload images. There's also the ability to use a Shopify app such as Image Optimizer, which is going to automatically go through all your images and optimize them there, decreasing the load time further on your website. The third tip to optimize your conversion rate for your Shopify store is to optimize the experience to remove clutter on your website. Remove those extra apps that are distracting the customer from proceeding further. For example, on this product page here, I might want to optimize the experience by making it easy for the customer to know what to click next. Here I have two buy now buttons. What I might want to do instead is just have the add to cart button, maybe change the color to red so it's easy for the customer to discern which step to take next to purchase this product. An easy way to optimize this experience is to do the squint test. We use squint while looking at your website and from there you can see which comes out clearly. Maybe it's bright colors, maybe it's bold text, but that gives an easy idea of what the customer should be doing next as their attention is going to be drawn to that step. Other ways to optimize the experience include adding a return policy that's really easy to understand so the customer feels comfortable purchasing from your store as they know they can easily return the product if they don't like it. Another option is to add free shipping as most customers expect free shipping and that's often a big impediment to purchasing on a website is the expensive shipping cost as customers are so used to getting free shipping now with stores like Amazon or free shipping incentives throughout many online stores. So overall you really want to consider the experience, go through funnels, see which steps where people are dropping off and optimize the experience from there, making it very clear the next steps that customers should be taking so they don't get confused along the way. The more you increase that confusion in your website, the less likely customers are going to purchase as it's going to increase that frustration, making it less likely they're going to order from your company. If you're a larger store, you might also want to consider split testing as that can give you very definable metrics on which page or which layout works better. As a bonus tip, you might want to include scarcity on your site as it's going to increase your overall conversion rate. This is through apps that show how much is left in stock or they can have these little notifications on the bottom right which are going to show that customers are purchasing now, making it more likely for the customer to purchase as they're going to think, hey, this product is running out of stock or a lot of people are purchasing it and I want to get in on that action before there are no products left. So overall, those are three easy tips in terms of how you can increase the conversion rate of your Shopify store. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if your store is just starting out, you don't have a lot of traffic, I wouldn't worry too heavily on increasing your conversion rate. I'd rather focus on the quality traffic sources to your website and making sure your website is an overall good experience and easy to use along each step. I'm going to leave links above in terms of other videos on how you can go through certain steps such as speed optimization or image optimization or such as how to write a good product description. But overall that concludes the video. If you like this video I'd love if you smash that like button below. If you have any questions leave a comment. If you haven't yet please subscribe. Thank you for watching.